I'm Mark Keefe with American Rifleman, and this week's Gun of the Week is the U.S. Rifle Caliber 30 M1, better known as the Garand, or the Garand, as Mr. Garand liked to be called. This particular gun is a 587,000 serial number. It was made at the United States Springfield Armory in Springfield, Massachusetts in April of 1942. Now this gun isn't exactly as it left the factory because it's been reworked, which is very common with such guns. As a military finds better ways to do things, better parts, they'll upgrade them. So we no longer have the early lock bar rear sight and some other early features on this gun, but this is a gun that was made in 1942. The story of the M1 Garand rifle really starts with its inventor, John Kentius Garand. And he started off as an employee, a U.S. government employee, working on a primer actuated rifle, and he eventually ended up in a trial with the legendary John D. Pedersen, where this rifle, his gas-operated rifle, competed against a toggle-link version of the Pedersen rifle in 276. The U.S. military rifle was going to be a 276 until Douglas MacArthur looked at all the 30-06 laying around saying, oh no, boys, it needs to be a 30-06. In January of 1936, the Garand rifle had won, but really they didn't start making these rifles until the year after. And there were some changes. The first Garands were gas trap rifles. And there was actually uh, a collector, a gas trap on the end that would catch the gas as it was going by. Turned out not to be the better mousetrap. There was actually a port drilled through on the later gas port rifles. And that's really the rifle that fought World War II. One of the big innovations with the Garand rifle was its end block clip. It held eight rounds of 30 out six and it's a piece of stamped sheet steel. And the, the, the great thing about a Garand clip is it doesn't care which way it goes in. There's no upside down. The entire clip is inserted into the rifle. The operating rod is pushed forward and the gun's ready to go. The Garand had excellent sights. You have a fully adjustable aperture rear. You have both windage and elevation adjustments as well as a front post sight that's protected by sight ears. They're very hardy sights, but also they're good for target work too. One of the things people talk about on the M1 rifle is M1 thumb. Once you push that follower down, you have to restrain the bolt or it's going to take a piece out of your thumb. The Garand rifle, of course, is very easy to field strip. Simply pull up on the back of the trigger guard, and out she comes. There's the basic rifle. And of course, you can bring, pop your mainspring from there. But this really was an outstanding design. George Patton called it the greatest battle implement ever devised. Of course, he also said nice things about the Sherman tank, too. So I don't know if we should believe George on that, but certainly this is the rifle that really kept freedom alive in the American victory during World War II. For more on guns like this, go to AmericanRifeman.org.